Where are we going, bro? On to the next, man. Let's go get our car and go to Aspen. There's a little event over there. What's it called? The Extreme Games. Maybe they shortened it to X Games. Yeah, we're going to X Games. Let's do it. Baggage at DIA always takes forever. So we're gonna stop by the lounge here for a second and get some free coffee, because that is the absolute best brand of coffee I've ever had. It's my favorite thing about traveling with David. This car suits you. Thanks. This is my not troll look. Okay. Yep. Feeling great. Hi, friends. Hey, friends. Hi. It's a beauty. I can already tell. Pipe is all lit up. It's X Games, baby. Here we go. We're ready to send it. As soon as they put us on the top of one of them features on one of them courses, I don't know what device they want me to use or uh, anything like that. Snowmobiles, skis, bikes, snow bikes, <laughs> shovels, toboggans, whatever. We're gonna send it. Ready to send it? Send it. that feeling rolling up to X Games. <laughs> it never gets old. It, or it, it's, it's always the same, I should say. You think like, this is my 10th, I'm literally walking into this Athlete Welcome Center for the 10th time this year. And you'd think that that would get commonplace, but it certainly does not. And uh, still get the same butterflies. It's still like the same level of hype, the intensity. Here we go, it's game on. <laughs> it's official. I am an athlete. 2020. 10th time. Here we go. One of the best parts about being an X Games athlete is the swag bag that you get full of assorted things. I swear, getting free stuff has never gotten old. I've been a professional skier for long enough. I have everything that I need. If I'm being totally honest, I have probably two of everything that I need, but I still love getting free stuff. And most of this stuff I'm gonna end up giving away. But I still love the experience of looking through and being like, ooh, did I get anything good this year? Some wax, something you can't have too much of. Some undies with the X Games course on them for while you're on the X Games course. It's a win. Another water bottle. A slightly stupid compact disc. That's kind of ridiculous. I didn't even know that they were still a band. This is copyright in 2003. I'm impressed. We'll have to see if we can find a CD player and listen to this. This is an ice massager. Fascinating. The goodie bag this year is on point. Some years, I'll admit, it's mostly junk that you don't really want, but this thing looks sweet. Oh, bravery badges. An interesting thing to call those. We can never have too many band-aids in the Wise household because both my kids are bruisers like me. Extra beanie, two beanies, and snacks. Can't have too many snacks. Hey, this is a huge win, you know why? This is like a toiletry kit. You can hang it off the mirror in your bathroom or whatever. But I had one of these from like my very first international competition ever. And I used it for like, I don't know, 12 years. And then one time I asked my wife, my beautiful, lovely wife, Alexandra, hey, where's my toiletry kit? And she's like, oh yeah, I threw it out. And I was like, because I'd had it for so long. It was admittedly probably due to be thrown out, but here we go, now I have a replacement. Oh,
Yeah, I do and too. I know you can do it in this condition. Easy. Yeah, absolutely. You just have to remember that, who you are. Yeah. That's Save what I'm trying to do out Two times. Remember who I is. Who four, I four is. Four times Mexican gold medals? Yeah, yeah. Four times Mexican gold medals. And a dub 12 is like a 9 for Dave. Everyone else is like a dub 12. Not for Dave. Not for Dave. He can jump 17 play. stairs and only 3 bounds. And only 3 bounds, folks. <laughs> Not little baby stairs either. Full size adult human Regulation stairs. human stairs. Regulation built to code. Toughest building code in the, in the state of Nevada. That's right. Regulation. Regulation. What's happening, Dave? Well, I'm a little bit on the struggle train today. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a hard time finding my finding my flow. I'm having fun, but every time I get ready to do a big trick, I have this like shaky, like uncertain confidence, and that's the last thing you want to have going into a big trick. So I'm just trying to take it back to the basics and enjoy the ride. That's a good one in. We got the whole space for ourselves. No complaints here.